Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's discuss about eligibility criteria for the industrial design. Now all of you know industrial design. So industrial design, you imagine you start a one company and that company, you make a particular design so that by the design only people should come to know that this is belongs to your company. So as we discussed in the previous class, like uh, it should be by looking at, for example, uh, if you have seen the iPhone uh, body of uh, maybe 5S, iPhone 5S or maybe iPhone 4 or if you see those series, it had got a particular structure like a flat and nicely finished body was there. Then when the iPhone 6 came, it was almost like an Android uh, kind of a body, 6, 7, 8, all these things came and till 10 it was there. Then when the Apple finally understood there was no much uh, this thing, I mean there was a first some, they, when they did a survey, uh, some kind of people were there, they, ha they wanted to, they were attracted and they were using the iPhones because of its body structure and this they didn't want to lose that particular this thing that's why they have not bought uh, the iPhones after 5 years so to attract these people again they have to, to go back to their original design of a uh, phone then the uh, iPhone 11 or 12 or if you see that kind of same structure has st again started okay and then uh, that was like a complete satisfaction for almost all iPhone users or else uh, earlier they used to say oh it looks like uh, Android that kind of stuff here this is also one uh, one kind of the the variations in the design or variants in the design that means so once if I am addicted to a particular design I have recognized the Apple company through this particular design okay if it is coming some other products its own products are coming similar to the other already existing android phones or any other phones definitely the uh, uh, part of the you know uh, their uh, uh, what do you call the mass audience or uh, the the buyers or customers they will stop buying it okay why because they want that distinctiveness so they have something unique should be there okay i am talking about just a physical design here uh, apart from that iphone has got many other advantages also like uh, maybe the the display is one of the finest thing that we got in uh, iphone is or apple is um, a display uh, so soft and uh, so quick and it will not hang much all these advantages are there okay so this makes this particular device as distinctive compared to any other devices in the market right so that's why i'm giving this example so when you say there is uh, when you choose apple over other products it's just because of its distinctiveness so that means any criteria or the basic criteria for a particular uh, industrial design is it has to be novel or original okay why it has to be novel then only people can distinct your work from the other work right and then you should make sure that well, your work is not in your work was not in published before you uh, register so then uh, the design for which the protection is being sought must be novel or original that should not that means that should not be disclosed to the public by prior publication or by prior use or in any other form it should not be available in the public in any other form okay now the design should be significantly distinguishable from the already registered designs that's what we just discussed right it should be something it should be so you know so different or unique that the people will identify your entire company based on that particular product itself for example the coca-cola bottle the iphone or the mini cooper what i gave an example like that many other examples are there by looking at the design itself we will understand that this belong to a particular company okay that is called industrial design understood the basic criteria is it has to be novel or original the second criteria it should not be uh, you know available that novel or original means it should not be available in the public in any forms the second criteria is it should be significantly distinguishable okay from the already registered designs existing in the public domain that was about the eligibility criteria for the uh, 
industrial designs so next topic we are having the acts and laws of govern uh, to govern the industrial designs that we will discuss in the next class